When I got back to the club after my running with the feds, Philly was really pissed. I sent a little fucking message, Joey, to tell the fuckers to mind their own fucking business. Instead, you start a small fucking war. So after a whole lot of shouting, Philly tells me he had a contact who could make things right with the feds, but it was gonna cost, and he sure as hell wasn't gonna fucking pay. So a few minutes in a phone call later, Philly tells me, I have to get 50,000 that night. Now, Philly later told me he'd been pissed, not just because of my screw up, but also because of the Orientals. You see, the, the triad and a certain Jade Lee have been causing Philly a lot of fucking trouble. Now, one day, years before Philly took control of the family, he'd called me up. Joey, I need you to do your thing again, kid. Those fucking Orientals ain't coughing up what's due. Get your ass down there and fix it, capiche? Philly sent me to see a lot of people during the early years. I was his, uh, his personal head, his persuader. If they wouldn't play ball, he sent me. Most jobs went nice and smooth, easy money. This one was going to become a real thorn in the family side. Jade Lee. Beautiful and deadly. Now, Jade had been running the family business since her father passed away. Now, what most people didn't know was that Jade and the triad controlled ever-increasing areas of New York. I completely understand your situation, Mr. Barola. Indeed. I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude for the services you and your associates have provided. Unfortunately, this restaurant is under new management and your protection is no longer required. But please accept this small gift as a token of our gratitude. At the time, Jade had no idea who the fuck she was messing with, but she'd learn soon enough. Well, it was clearly time to get the fuck out of there. Jade was obviously not willing to negotiate, and we hadn't exactly turned up expecting a war. When Jade's father, Chung Lee, had run things, he'd always towed the line. Always paid his dues. He didn't have any interest in making enemies out of the family. Don't kill me! But Jade, now, she was a different fucking prospect altogether. Oh, she had big plans for the triad and had no problem telling us exactly when we weren't welcome. See, Jade was an American, born and bred. The way she saw things, she had as much right to this turf as we did. In short, she was becoming Kingdom. a big fucking problem. Dito. Jade's guys were still crawling all over the place. It was time to conduct some negotiations of my own. Now, it's not too often I found myself on the wrong side of a bar, but just for that day, I was willing to make an exception. Fuck, these bastards are on us. Yeah. 
And then, after I'd spilt enough blood for one day, I figured it was time to make myself scarce. I didn't know it then, but that wasn't the first run-in I'd have with Jay Lee in the triad. 